What is going on, YouTubes? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the HLGRS, HGLRC M100 Mini GPS, and also the Baytan BN220, which is going to be the one over here on the very top here on the right side. And so I've been running the, I originally had the BN880 way too big. Um, it's running the 10th generation U blocks. And I wasn't able to put that on the drone, so I downsized to the BN220 here, a little bit better size to, to be able to fit on the uh, the five inch uh, freestyle. And I actually came across another one called the HGLRC M100 Mini. This is very comparable to the size. You can see it's very, very noticeable. Definitely a lot smaller than the BN220. I believe the BN180, which is an even smaller one, is about the same size, or it might be a little bit smaller than this one. But I tried to figure out, how am I supposed to put these actually on my drone? So I was able to, here's another one, I was able to put it on a strap with rubber here, and I was able to mount this on the front of the drone. I'll probably see if I can take some pictures later on and show you. But basically what I did was I did some Velcro on the very bottom right here. Had the antenna upwards, as you can see. And it sticks onto the strap very well. And I've worn it uh, probably like about a couple of packs. And it hasn't come off uh, yet. So this setup here works for me. Might not work for you. You might want to do it on the back of the drone with the 3D printed uh, TPU stuff. Uh, but again, it's probably all personal preference. So with the HGLRC Mini 100 here, I was actually able to connect it with U-Center and play around with the U-Block settings. And I think all the settings are good for the HGLRC M100. The only thing that I did change and I noticed was that it was running off of balanced power. So the only configuration that I did change on the M100 Mini was giving it full power. Now the power doesn't really drain a whole lot from the LiPo or really have a huge difference in uh, battery consumption. So basically I had originally the BN880 and also the BN220 on balance. I switched up to full power, didn't really notice a huge difference in battery drain, but I did also check online that a lot of people do prefer to do full power on their GPS. Again, the battery consumption is very nominal. You're only flying for a couple minutes anyways, especially on a five inch freestyle. So I went full power with this one. And I'm not even really sure if I did notice a whole lot of difference, but you know what? Full power is better than balanced or half power. So again, with the HGLRC M100 Mini GPS, the only difference that I did change in the U-Center app here um, with this little device and also, just to let you know, I kind of Mickey Moused the wiring. Basically, I connected two wires and then I used electrical tape, uh, taped them up. And thankfully, the connection was still good and uh, it was actually able to connect in Windows. So again, the only thing that I did change was go to full power. Everything else was good to go. The locking time or the 3D fix when you... Uh, boot up the, the drone with the LiPo battery is pretty significantly faster. Uh, again, the M100 Mini is also running on the 10th generation chip of U-Blox. So um, is it a good upgrade? I think so. It's a lot smaller. It's a better generation chipset uh, compared to the smaller uh, Baytan or the BN GPS units. Um, now again, the BN880, which is a lot larger, um, it does have compass features. And I believe that's also running on the 10th generation uh, chipset. I could be wrong on that, but again, I just think that this one here, the HDLRC M100 Mini 10th generation chipset, also the size, it's crazy. It's crazy how small this is. Um, now, I don't really fly long range at all, but for just five inch freestyle, uh, a couple hundred meters away, uh, open space and parks and fields and whatnot, uh, even my backyard, it's good enough for me. And I believe I did a little bit of math here and under one minute, under 60 seconds, I got about five to eight uh, satellite locks in probably like 30, 45 seconds. And this was on a cold boot as well. Um, now, if it's on a hot boot um, or a hot start rather, you can probably get a lot more. 
But um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a little bit more research and also uh, spend some more time with this. But so far, I do like this. Uh, I've only flown a couple packs with the M100 Mini and definitely satisfied with this as well. Um, identical operation of pretty much all GPS units out there. Uh, but again, this is gonna be a kind of a short video just to let you guys know that the HGLRC M100 Mini is good to go. And also, if you guys do want to play around with the U-Center and also the configuration, uh, in my opinion, the only thing that I would personally change is to go from the PMS, uh, power management system, go from the balanced to full power, and just save that onto the chip, and then you're good to go from there. All right, guys, that's it.